Jesus, thy Lord and Savior, deliver us upon these vile Turkic bastards and praise upon, in the year 1403, thy good Lord, Big Chompus. <laughs> Hello there. I'm, I'm a bit theatrical at times. I never know how or why or what the fuck for. But here I am, doing my thing. Purely out of spite for the system. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, you may wonder... How the fuck did Chris manage to make three Chris Cades in a month? Let me tell you. Drugs. <laughs> lots and lots of pain-altering drugs. So, uh... That's how I'm able to keep going. But, uh... Yes, uh... And, by the way, for those who don't know, Big Chompus... Is thy lord and savior doge, big chompus. <laughs> so, uh, I would, I would just love it if, um, fucking, we reverted back to a medieval society, but we kept meme culture. You'd have great institutions like the Church of the Holy Bork, or the Brotherhood of Bunk, or, uh, uh, the Fellowship of Big Chungus, or the Revolution of Pepe, or... <laughs> Or doze thy lord and savior who cometh onto thy bunk. Like it's, <laughs> it'd be great. I love it. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be fucking magical. But yeah, it's <laughs> so, uh, God, fuck. Ugh. People are gonna pester me while I'm making the video. Uh, hold on. Let, let's see if I can message my group and tell them to piss off while I'm fucking. Actually, wait. Does this? Does this show? No, it doesn't. Yeah, I don't have it on a uh, browser. So it shouldn't show. If it does, I'm kind of boned because this is private information. Oh, okay, it's just a meme. All right, I'll just let it slide. Uh, if they keep messaging me, then I will have to backhand them into proper submission. Uh, it's a personal Discord of mine. Uh, I may end up posting my discord name and one of my videos and uh, if I do feel free to message me but I'd have to vet you before I let you in the den of debauchery that is not being debaucherous and um yeah not not exactly something for the faint of heart in the modern day if I do do that we will depend This is pretty slavitz. Okay, let's see here. Um, oh, skills, booze. Okay, I can't decide safe passage or Bacchus. I think safe passage is the only one with no downsides because Bacchus effects of your hangover will be thirty percent stronger. I like that though. So either way it negates drinking to oblivion. So either you're immune to that, but hangover is thirty percent stronger, or when you do it, you won't lose any of your items. And you'll wake up at home in bed. Okay. <laughs> I wanna get Bacchus because I'm pagan, but <laughs> You know, uh, fucking R RPG related things that make you feel more pagan are always, always approved by me. Oh god, drunk with Bacchus would be crazy. <laughs> uh... Do not combine those two, for the love of Job. Okay. Yeah, I can't get that. Wow, ten's like the highest for perks. Uh, safe passage. I've never drunken myself to oblivion in this game. I want to get Bacchus because of the name. But the hangover will be 30% stronger. 
Yeah, safe passage is just the. Uh, it doesn't have any real downsides, so it's kind of weird how they have one that has downsides and the other that fucking don't. It's it's like, gee, I wonder what people are gonna pick. I wonder if I get. Gee, let me guess. If I get. Oh yeah, no. Okay, here's what's funny. Sasau loved me. The villagers had like an eighty, like an eighty-nine opinion of me. And then I uh, assaulted a guard in broad daylight and stole his shit. So, uh, <laughs> oops. So, uh, fun times there. Okay, he had a special green brigandine. Come on now, how could I not steal that fucking thing? Okay, uh. Most of these things were acquired by the age-old profession of theft. <laughs> you see some random dude geeked out on fucking opium and painkillers and fucking... You're just stealing everyone's shit. Like, Notice how the actual color of the item changes its stats. Not just the color of the um, rarity, but the actual item color. Name a fucking game that does that. <laughs> but, uh. Brigandine does a tough armor. Small steel plates. Stiff, tough fabric or leather lining. Um, usually. Well, it depends on the area. But there were a lot of them that had a leather lining and fabric at the bottom which is against you so you could wear it um, bare. Um, granted you're supposed to layer this shit and um, due to the gravitational shifting of the planet and shit back then well it depends what time period in the Viking Age they had a massive heat wave and that heat wave uh, lasted over a hundred years and then they developed right around the time I think it was going into the medieval age they started to have a cold phase for a hundred or so years and then for a hundred years they had a warm phase and you look at history and you look at accounts of people in that time period there's a pretty consistent hot then cold, hot then cold approach. Now, with that being said, the idea of fucking, what is it, uh, uh, global warming, it was originally global cooling in the 70s. But Leonard Nimoy, right, Spock, Leonard Nimoy gave a, a speech on the effects of global cooling at one point, okay? And they just buried it. They just totally pretend it didn't happen because then global warming was a thing and I grew up with that being the big thing oh the polar ice caps are gonna melt in 10 years they said 20 fucking years ago yeah so uh bullshit <laughs> they're not they'll get smaller than bigger than smaller than bigger that's 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 how the world has always been so in that sense I could see them just making a totally fatal fucking error in regards to, um, you know. Oh, I kind of like that. I could see them making a fatal error in terms of uh, a coincidence. A coincidence does explain away the state's uh, contradictory concepts. But, as a wise man said in an even wiser TV show, I believe in coincidences, but I don't trust coincidences. Okay, so, and neither the fuck do I. Uh, yeah. That's all my artwork. Yep, all my food rotted. <laughs> yeah, uh, Henry got thrown in the fucking can. He got thrown in jail. Because I dared to suggest a lord not be a dickbag. And, uh... Be because of that, he threw me in prison. And the bitch 
I was defending got pissed at me for not attending the fucking dead for two days. I'm like, motherfucker, I went to jail for your ass. Fuck it. I hope that virgin pussy is worth it. I, <laughs> you know, I hope what's his dick, who's a total fucking snob, I, I hope he ends up, you know, replanting virgin soil there. Fuck it. She's a nun, so obviously she's, you know, fucking virgin. Vagin. But no, uh, at least I think nuns are supposed to be virgins. I'm not sure. I don't know how that works. I would assume that would make sense given how everyone wants to fuck a nun. But, uh, the internet's a weird place. It's a very, <laughs> it's a very fucking weird place. Like, um, I forgot what the hell else I was talking about shit. Uh, it's, it's a very weird place. Because the internet, on one hand, likes to, um, promote soft things um you know like kid shows and stuff like that it's, it's it's kind of a realm for that and then and then you you discover a rule that begins in 30 and ends in four and you're like wow uh everything's been corrupted holy shit okay. and i have okay from the studies i've seen the majority of porn watchers who admit it are men, right, who admit to watching porn. But I've been around women. I've been around the dark side of women's psyche. And, uh, you, you think men are into some weird shit with, like, feet. Motherfucker, women are into, like, demon futanari with horse dicks. You, you, you know, like, they're into some weird shit. Like, you know, we all pretend that women are vestal virgins and they've done nothing wrong and they're all innocent and pure. Bull the fuck shit. They are they are far more plagued by the horny than men are. They just they just don't show it, you know. Uh, because again they have the disguise of weakness and the disguise of purity. But that's bullshit. Fucking believe me. That's fucking bullshit. Women are not sexually pure by any means. Oh wait. Oh, yeah, no, that fucking rotted, yeah. Well, I could just hold on to it and then use the preserver. When I, when I see him. Right, he only needs five, and that'll work with one preserver. One preserver restores five items of a particular spec. So, yeah, so ammy. Uh, yeah, I'm trying a new thing with this outfit. I'm trying to fucking... How weird is salami that it's literally, like, like, spiced, like, fetid, or is it fetid, or... No, fetid means rotten. What's, what's the word? It's like spiced, dried wiener. <laughs> Essentially, like, it's, it's fucking... Yeah, I never get struck in the legs. So I, I tend to go with things that don't make much noise on the legs for the purpose of stealth. Eventually my legs will load in. Okay. Uh Yeah, the dyed brigandine is what I is what I got. I I just dude, I saw it with a green one. I'm like I must have like I don't even use the damn thing, but it's just I had to have it. I got the Lords of Lipus set because I did all the tourneys. I did like three extra tourneys after getting the whole set, and I've gotten an axe, which is good, but not the best. Same with the mace. I got the Bailiff's mace one time, which is weird because you, you get that from the fucking Bailiff in like the second chapter. <laughs> so... Uh, I, I like having stealth as an option. I will move that to horse and that too. I like having stealth as an option, you know. 
Because there are definitely parts where the, the game's like, you must be stealthy to avoid being stabbed in the dick hole. And I'm like, okay, shit. Okay. I'll do what you say, boss. Okay. But, uh... Ignore the stolen shit I have. Totally ignore. Uh, yeah. I... I, I played this yesterday, and I forget everything that I fucking did. Like, I, I, for, I literally forget the entire thing I was doing. Oh, right. Yeah, I gotta fucking... I might have to look this up, because I tried doing it, and it didn't fucking work. So... I didn't know. So, uh... Oh, God, I'm way the fuck up here. Alright. Summon thy horse. Shadow man, Mia. Yeah, fucking, uh, this is the finish for the Slavis. this is one of the options, uh, you can change the armorer into a weaponsmith, and you can change the horse trader into a, um, like, military barracks kind of thing, and, uh, the horse trader, I recommend, because you get access to Shadow Mayor, and it's probably the best horse I've seen in the game so far. I've been to a bunch of the stables, and it is the best horse. The highest carrying capacity, speed, and not the highest in terms of bravery, but it's still high enough that it doesn't really matter. Um, so, you know. Um, I mean, the, you're supposed to get special meat at the tavern. I don't know where the fuck that's supposed to be. But, uh, oh shit, yeah, I'm gonna... There we go. By the way, for those who don't know, this map is a real life area. It, it's an actual area. I've, I've seen photos, like aerial photos, of this exact area. It's, I think, southeast of Prague in uh, modern day Czechia, which, when I was growing up, was Czechoslovakia. Um. Was it? Or do I just remember it being that because it's, I wasn't close to it? I, I don't remember. But either way, I, I know at one point this area was in what was modern day Czechoslovakia. But that country broke in two? I don't know when, but I know it broke in two, so I, I have no idea. But uh, yeah, it, it broke in two and it became Czechia and Slovakia. Because how dare we unify the white man? I mean, oops. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, fucking. That's gonna get me shit, but <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Okay, so, uh, Talmberg. Alright, I gotta get fucking deer kidneys for this one bitch. Ugh, women and their high, expensive demands. Deer kidneys and butter shosh. Like, ugh. Like, what the fuck? women and their expensive demands. Okay, so, uh... And butter sauce. Butter. Fuck. My, my brain just committed seppuku, so now I have no idea what to fucking do. <laughs> but, uh, hold on. Okay, so I can do a DLC thing. Okay, where's the woman's lot? I think it said I started it, but, uh, Woman's Lot, to my knowledge, is broken up into two sections. There's the one with Theresa, and then there's the one with, um, the virgin nun soil that wants to be plowed desperately. Uh, so, she kind of fucking betrayed me, so I don't know if I should even help that bitch anymore. Like, I get thrown in prison, she doesn't give a fuck. If anything, she's pissed at me for not tending the wounded for a day and a half. I'm like, bitch, I was in jail. What the fuck? Like, I was in jail defending you. What the... Yeah, no, so... Uh, great start off to... Oh, the poor fainting women's. Great, great, great start off there. Fucking... Duty doody do. 
Normally I stop to do the um, random events, but I have to switch out to my one-handed weapon if I'm gonna do it in the dark. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, we got something. Skirmish. Ambush by Cummins. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Are none of them using torches? Oh, shit. Oh, the battle hasn't even started yet. Shit. Let me park my horse over here. Oh, now they got, uh, they got the torches out. I'm going to take pot shots at Cummins because they're terrific bastards. Fuck. Really hard to line up shots on this damn thing. Fuck. Uh. Can uh, you guys turn your torches back on so I know who I'm firing at? I don't know if I just killed that guy or not. <laughs> gotcha. And that's that. You're welcome. Sniping in the rain. Will you? Yes. Ah, that, that, you fucker. Come on. Put your, get your, whip your fucking torch out. Henry, you epileptic fuck. Come on. Here you go. These were guards. Okay. Are you okay, bud? You look injured. Whoa, you got beat the fuck up. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. They are kumic bastards, but, uh. Hey, golden spurs. I'll be damned. They're in good condition, too. Wooden cumin shield. Cumin. Bacon. Okay, why would they have bacon? Because they're Turkic. And were they always Islamic? Were they? So why do they always have bacon and, like, pork sausage and shit on them? Because they're not haram or halal or ababal or call or whatever the fuck that word is. See, I don't know these things. I'm not a, a dweller of the desert lands. I, I do not I do not understand desert religions. But, uh, and that is my right. Uh, Russian. Probably Black Coif. Hungarian Halberg. Kuban Chainmail provides good protection against slashing and chopping attacks. Yeah, but it's fucking loud. <laughs> Actually, what? Oh, I'm too damn sure to repair it. Kuban riding boots. Riding breeches. Look at my pants, they're fluffy. Yes, 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 we understand. You have a superior culture because of your fluffy pants. We all know how that works, don't we? <laughs> the fluffier your pants, the more superior your culture. We, we, we all, we're all well aware of this. Father Abdul Adib Abudah. Okay. We're all aware. Uh, I'm fun. Fun times. <laughs> Father Abu D. Abu Da. Uh, okay, I just want to make sure it's recording. Make sure I wasn't talking to myself in the void for fucking half an hour. God, it took me all night to get here. Fuck. Uh, 
Abdul Abu D Abu Da. <laughs> I'm funny. So I'm supposed to be in this church. I have no idea at what time. I assume the Dirk. But when I get there in the Dirk, it... <laughs> I can never find the fucking entrance to this damn place. It's... Who the hell would put the entrance of a church on the other fucking side of the entrance of a barricade? Like, like what, what... Fucking ADHD rid riddled fucking... Uh, what, what's it called? Um, architect. What ADHD riddled architect did, oh, now I can use it. Okay, shit. Now you let me. All right. We'll do that. Miller told me. Okay, hold on. Uh, I just realized. I have no idea if y'all can hear that good, but I fucking can't. So, <laughs> give 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 me a second. Uh, yeah, I I turn shit down so I can hear buddies of mine, Brew Bitch, in the background. Um, that's kind of the point. Uh, okay, let's try it now. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, why not? That's why it's at. He's hiding in there for his money thing. With a stable boy. It's not hard to get to the bar. No, not that. I would have been dead wanting. He's in the, uh, quad stuff. Or whatever it's called. But only monkeys can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest. But it didn't quite work out. There's some cavemen here. The Cave of St. Scopius. There might be a way into it from outside. Did you have any other ideas besides the secret passages? Well, there was this one fellow who'd been hanging around the tavern. Supposed to die in the monastery soon. Might be he could help me somehow. I tried talking to him if I was him. And if he doesn't help, not to worry about that. If he takes anything he's got, then you could use to pack yourself off again. So let him have an entrance to the monastery. That's 
sacrilege. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, don't you have any other tests? What does Pi? Yeah, that's the part. Should be the only new one there. And what is there of others? What does he look like? Normal? We always went about well dressed, kind of fine looking dagger. Yeah, except for the bit of rice on our faces on. Then you're after trying to figure out which one of the novels we should take and get into the dream zone. So I came in drunk. Incense is good to hell. Getting drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> well, there. There's more wine there than in the wild cellar. Oh, the power of booze. It will betray you to the bandits you betrayed. Justice. <laughs> uh. So I've got to kill Pike. Even the Cold Scarab. If there is the Cold Scarab, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy named Lonely Ward, right? More or less. But now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big, and we'll show up. Pay the guys some money, and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'll just take him to the best guard of place in the entire river and we'll kill him. Take the guy some money, and then go to the swamp and wait for the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, that's the whole point. Uh Okay then. New level in speech, nice. Key does something. Okay. Oh shit. Poverty, chastity, and obedience. Oh boy. Talk to the young man who's posted to the monastery. The monastery is a novice. Tell Sir Radzig what the bandits want you to do. Oh. So, I can just tell Sir Radzig. Or I could go through with it. I, I love... Th this game is full of fucking quests where you have branching paths and you could do this or you could do that. or fucking, Actually, wait, where's... I think this one really wants me to tell Sir Radzig. Oh, wait, no, never mind. There it is. Yeah, talk to the anybody who's posted to the monastery. Okay, so... Oh boy, this is, this is gonna get spicy. Fucking... God, should I go to Sir Radzig, or should I... What is the question? Uh... He'd probably tell me that, you know, that, look, he's going to say one of two things. Either A, he's going to say, well, you got to do it. You got to join them. We got to figure out where this leads. Or he's going to say, okay, well, we'll stage it to make it look like he's gone and give you the evidence so you can infiltrate. God, do I want to kill a monk? That's the real fucking question. <laughs> Does my pagan blood deceive me? Like, <laughs> oh god, options. <laughs> Look, I like having options. I love seeing how they how things branch out, but at the same time, 
Decisions are hard to make sometimes. Oh, I have tea. I didn't know that. I forgot I had tea. Um, my my wife is uh, getting supplies from the local obituary, so uh, she will be back um, probably right after I finish this video. <laughs> probably. So, you know. Uh, shit. Uh, I was gonna get him to make a tea, but I already have tea in there, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Uh, whatever. Ow, my muscle meat arms. Ow. Uh. Okay. Uh. Jeez, what do I. What do I do? Fuck. Uh. Fuck. Uh. I, I guess. I guess we go to the monastery, kid. Supposed to join the monastery. I'll talk to him, see how that goes, and then I'll see if I have the option to tell Sir Dig through this dialogue. Again, I, I haven't done this before. This is all new to me. Every time I play this, it's a new thing, so. Bork. Fucking bark! Whoa. Hello, horse who spawned at a thin dick. How you doing? Bullshit. Okay. Run along. Run along, scampy. You know, uh. Oops. Yeah, uh. See, this is usually why I have my wife around, so I, like, have someone to bounce ideas off of. Because uh, I wonder. I, I, okay, I was, I was diagnosed as a kid with ADHD. My father didn't believe it. Um, you know, which, which is pretty based. But, uh, because kids are naturally hyper. That's, especially boys, right? Like, kids are just naturally fucking hyper. That's kind of the point, right? They're, young and energetic, they're learning, they're have a thirst for knowledge in the world and and uh now they end up having their fucking hormonal shift at nine <laughs> you know li little, little tinfoil hat experiment I guess but sometimes you kind of wonder if all of this shit is connected like you know uh, kids, like, okay, girls being fertile at nine, right? Like, you know, uh, there's that, and, uh, uh I'd probably wait till morning. Uh, like, th that now being a thing mixed with the food and hormones we pump into kids at such a young age that changes their fucking organs and makes them all fucked up and fat and bloated and all this stuff and and I'm talking to America specifically but uh here's the thing L fatter women tend to have larger breasts larger breasts are typically a sign of maturity and development as far as sexuality goes and kids are getting fatter and when you get fatter your chest gets fatter too typically speaking and that makes a girl look older right look mature i'm not saying she is but it's what she looks and one has to wonder if that's not by design or like there's there's some weird like food health regulation that's trying to make kids uh, more adult when they shouldn't be and um, Carl okay 
you know, and they're trying to make kids more adult when they shouldn't be, and at the same time, you have all these drag kid shows going on, teaching kids about sexuality, schools are teaching kids about being gay, how being gay is a good thing, schools are teaching kids that if you are a tomboy, you're really a boy boy, and you need to chop your tits off and grow a dick, right? So... You have all this shit compiling on, and it's all happening in the education system, and it's all happening to children. And what it does is it makes kids sexual. And you have to wonder if there's not some, like, arch-vile coven of groomers in control of our fucking education system. Makes you wonder. I, I mean, hell, for example, uh, what, uh, Jared Fogel, uh, who had a bar mitzvah in Israel, by the way. Uh, Jared Fogel um, was uh, around kids all the fucking time. <laughs> like, he went to a bunch of schools, dude, like in the early 2000s when Subway, the $5 foot long thing was going on. When Subway was at its fucking pinnacle. Jared Fogel was its spokesperson. And he, he went to school after school after school teaching kids about eating healthy and eating right. And he ended up being someone who viewed children in a heavily sexual light. As sexual agents, which they're not. Right? That that can't be a fucking coincidence, right? Like it's You see all this shit piling on top of each other, and just some part of your brain begins to think, huh, this can't all be a fucking coincidence. Can't all be that. Yeah, uh, let me let me change the. As much as I love the music and the jaunty tune. Like I can actually speak Latin and shit in the background. That's kind of bass. But anyways, so. Again, you have all of these things going on at the same time, mind you. It's all happening at once. Right? And on top of that, the fatherlessness issue is happening at the same time. And that affects kids heavily. Especially girls. Because when girls grow up without a father, they're far more likely to be pregnant before 20. They're far more likely to uh, basically become a whore, basically. They're far more likely to become a whore. And they're far more likely to... Uh, you, you know, develop sexual problems, STDs, the whole nine yards. Get into drugs. They're far more statistically likely of getting into the bad form of sexuality, where you're just trying to fill your hole with as many phalluses as you can find. And I know this because I've seen it fucking happen time and time again. And, you know, uh, just, again, that's... It, it's all connected. It's gotta be. There's no fucking way it's not. Now, who's who's doing the connection and who's producing all these questions and answers, right? Who's trying to sexualize kids and do it in nine different directions at once? That's the question. And I have a weird feeling if I give you the answer, or what the answer could be, uh, I'll be demonetized and not lose my bank accounts and all this other stuff. Gee, like, like a certain dark feller I, I read about in the news once. You know, so, uh... Fun times there. Like, you know, so much as mentioning that as a possible answer. The the possible tribe that I can't go into any further detail about. Who may be culpable for this entire thing. Because their holy book literally talks about raping the not them. Uh, you know, so. And that it's okay and it doesn't count when you do it to a not them. So, you know, just fun. Oh, shit. Hold on, I'm retarded. And Fred's purse. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, shit. <laughs> Go with the writ to the monastery porter. Okay, shit. Well, damn. <laughs> Talk to the young man. Uh, he was asleep, so I just stole his shit. Okay. <laughs> but, but anyways. So, yeah. Just, you know. So much as mentioning a certain three-letter word. Uh, will get you labeled uh, an anti-them and a monster and a bigot and a horrible person 
and everyone will double down in unison about how you're evil. Even though their fucking holy text literally says, <laughs> you know, literally says, hey, uh, the not us is totally fair game when it comes to abuse, rape, and other fun things. You know, t totally not, you know. You're not even allowed to question. You're not even allowed to point out, hey, this, this, this tribe's a little fucked up. You know, shouldn't we do something about it? Nope, you're labeled an anti-them, and, and that holds a lot of weight. The, uh, the ADL and several other organizations will all try to bang you up the asshole at the same time. They'll all try to buckwheat you into fucking disexistence. And, you know, just destroy, ruin, lies, and slander. And you see all these things. All these patterns. And you have to... You, there's just no way you can see it. Evidence after evidence after evidence that all points to the same group without thinking they're doing something. Right? And again, that's not this tribe specifically, but that, that's any group. Right? That's any group. It's just plain and simple. And I, I know I'm going into the deep weeds here as far as, you know, uh, tinfoil hat goes, but again, just holy shit. Like, I'm so sick and tired of people losing their First Amendment right. And it's an inalienable right. It's not just an American right. It's inalienable. It is God-given rights. Right? We're the only country that recognizes God-given liberty and freedom. Now, Europe has better food and better agriculture, but they have much less people, so they don't need the super industry stuff that America has. And they have much less land. That being said, now, in the last five or ten years, uh, they've been full to the brim of invaders from other countries that don't want to uh, don't want to adapt. They want to take over. So, not exact, and you're not allowed to defend yourself in Europe either, by the way. So, again, you know, fun situation they made out for themselves. Like, fuck, I was born on this side of the pond. And... You know, because look, America's got a lot of fucking issues, but at at least we're not, you know, unable to defend ourselves in forty nine states. The one state got rid of the Castle Doctrine. Uh, I forget which one. It might have been Minnesota or Missouri. I think it was Minnesota. Yeah, the, a state had a case where the judge specifically wanted to annihilate Castle Doctrine. For those who don't know, is the right to defend your home and property with extreme prejudice. And I believe if someone breaks into your home, it I don't care if they're armed or not. You know, you're either gonna get a sword in the gut or a buckshot at the ass. Right? Either way. I I don't give a fuck. Right? If you invade my home, you're a threat to my family, regardless of intent, weapons, or purpose. You are a threat. Right? It's called trespassing. Okay? And if you're trespassing, you'll be treated with extreme prejudice. And I think that's another God-given right. To defend your home and property. We've been doing that since the fucking cave days. And here we are. We have half of the government wanting to get rid of our rights, and the other half of the government being cucks to the other half. And like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> Why the fuck? It wasn't meant to be that way. Brother Porter. I'm the novice Carl. I'm expecting that. <laughs> yes. A car. I'm supposed to wait for it to help me. We expect to be sooner. Weren't you supposed to come here with your guardian? It's been so hectic lately, people will keep turning up out of the blue. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, I can threaten him. Oh shit, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, his, his uh, resistance to that is pretty low. I could easily pull that off. <laughs> Can you read and write? Naturally. I wouldn't be here otherwise. So then, are you ready for 
Oh god, it's a cult. I am. Then you must rid yourself of all your worldly possessions. Sell them or give them to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. Inside the gatehouse is a trunk in which you will find monks' robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while. While I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your accession. Put away all your worldly goods and chattels. Put on the monk's habit. Oh god. Oh god. Remember guys, Scientology does the same thing, but that's a cult. This isn't. Remember guys. Oh, that's gonna give me so much hate. <laughs> Like, anytime I say that, anytime I'm like, God, I'm gonna get so much hate for this, I kind of revel in it. I'm like, ooh, I'm naughty. <laughs> you know? Like, it's, it's great. It's like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm, uh... I'm still feeling good about all of us. I didn't realize how much I've grown used to it. Everything's prepared. It's time for you to take your bath. Why would you? You're gonna see Jesus. Is Jesus gonna pop down and go, I'm American this time? And then he just pulls out air 15s. Chad Jesus. Okay. <laughs> American Jesus is Chad Jesus. When, when he returns as American, you will know who the true Chad is. I just realized my haircut changed. I just. Keep in mind the Catholic Church had the most power in the world in this time. The most. They were the government. They were the oligarchy. They were the monarchy. They were all of these things. They won. And they demanded their servants, who were of noble standing, to have no goods whatsoever. We have gathered here today to welcome a new novice
Keep in mind, fun little fact, the um, monk. <laughs> cool. Keep in mind a fun fact here. When it came to the Knights Templar. Welcome, brother. I am Antonio, a novice like you. I think oh. I could guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what you'll need. Oh, so now I can't tell Radzig. Oh, did I make the right choice? Okay, I'm going for it. Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know that thing, do you? Don't worry. Working the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly did you do it? Was it your choice? Was it someone forcing you? You know, that's a good fucking question, because there were a lot of forced converts. Catholicism was a convert or die religion, not unlike the modern day Islam, where they wanted to convert pagans. So the whole point of most of their scripture, most of the additions they added on to the Bible, were additions such as literal names from pagan lore and uh, concepts and whole fucking architects of various paganistic ideas. Now, you talk to most modern Christians, and they will say that Catholicism is the uh, fan fiction edition of the Bible and of Jesus. And keep in mind, the Catholic Church to this day claims that Jesus founded the Catholic Church when in reality... It was a certain Roman emperor. Uh, Constantine, I believe was his name. And, um... But that doesn't sound holy and righteous enough now, does it? You know, so... Uh... See, here's the thing. I don't have a problem with Jesus. I have a problem with the state-organized religion, right? Because at that point, religion, God, is the state. And that's when I have problems. It's when it becomes a monarchic monotheist monopoly <laughs> or triple one for short <laughs> the monastery is the easiest path to education shit I'm being punished <laughs> oh god oh god I should be on being punished I'm being punished if it were up to me I'd still be spending my days in taverns and my nights with boys hierarchy. Ooh, let's look at that. The Benedictines were a decentralized order. All the monasterial communities were independent and the respective were headed by an abbot. His re representative at the monasterial level was the prior. The smaller organizational units were in turn called priories with the prior at the head. So, the abbot frequently traveled on the king's or pope's business or to arrange the business affairs of the order and could thus be away for extended periods. At such times, the prior would stand in for him. Among the other occupations at the monastery were watchmen, bell-ringing circuitors, whose task was to patrol the entire monastery during hours of mandatory work, study and prayer, and ensure that there were no idlers and everyone maintained order and silence. The various administrative sections of the establishment were entrusted to... Hold on. <laughs> that word threw me for a loop. Obedientiaries. Obedientiaries? 
The preceptor or cantor was responsible for training the monks in eclogs. Fuck! Ec <laughs> I'm not this stupid, I swear. Ecclesiastical. Ecclesiastical, that's the word. I've known this word before. Ecclesiastical singing and conducting services. <laughs> I'm failing royally. The procuring of food, beverages, and fuel for the community and its guests was the job of the general bazaar, or steward of the monastery service. The brother Solarius, while accounts and administrations were down to the provost, the inf infirmarium gave shelter and cared for any ailing monks. And the monastery of St. Procopius at the time of Abbot Peter, 1377 to 1405, i.e. the time of our game, there are... <laughs> based... There were about 30 monks. The names in the game derived from the surviving records of brothers actually there at the time. Okay, that's cool. That's 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 based. I, I love fucking... I just adore medieval games. Or just any historical game that cares that much. Oh, it's beautiful! Like, it's so pretty! <laughs> God, I'm gonna have a sore throat by the time my wife gets home. Well, so will she, but that's the point. So, uh, oops, but, uh, <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> you know. See, the only time I'm a pervert is when it comes to someone I married. This is the way I told you, sir. Where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. You know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. Be right before dawn every I know, I broke into here once. <laughs> Come, be well. Uh, are you okay, dude? Come now, I don't want to still be showing you around. Oh, what, what the fuck? Where, where'd you go? Oh, shit. He, like, teleported. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of that going around. Centuries ago, this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, St. Procopius. His earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery. His spirit wanders the corridors at night, punishing you with what they will not admit. Uh, about that. So beware. I, I uh, kind of stole his bowl. Okay, so I can't have any worldly goods, but this motherfucker can walk around with a pimp and hickory cane? Really? Really? This lavish, ornate, engraved carving made out of silk and fibers and fucking yak dick is able to fuck. <laughs> how dare you? Like, what the fuck? Like, how, how does this not feel like a cult in the modern day? Like, look. Look. I've seen a bunch of videos about studying cults, and I know this because I was unfortunately in one for a short time. Not of my free choosing, of course, but that's how cults work. And it was actually a communist cult, but that's beside the point. And, uh, fun times. A lot of what I saw in that group is what I'm seeing right fucking now as I play this game about the Catholic Church. I don't know if that's intentional, if that's really how the Catholic Church is. But if it is, oh boy. Now, to be fair, here's the funny thing. Uh, the modern day Catholics, the people themselves, despise their commie cock-sucking Pope. So, to be fair, they're all becoming Protestants now. How wonderful is that? <laughs> I should set up my Discord to where it knows I'm streaming, so it doesn't blare bullshit while I'm trying to fucking do a video. <laughs> well, I'm not actually streaming, streaming, but I'm, I'm recording, so there's that. Ah, uh, the Catholic Church. This is the refectory where we come together today. During meals, you must be silent. I 
But eat nothing but porridge and kidney beans. Can you stop talking? Okay. His audio got a little muffled there. Not important. That's not important. Are you telling me this, Amy? Would you want to? Perhaps you could help me find it? The missing thief? If I knew anything, I'd tell you. But I suppose it must be one of the novels. I've only recently heard about the novel novel. All the other branches seem to be a much longer than that. I know. Aside from me, there are only That's a cool way of saying that. Holy shit. Your secrets are locked inside my lips. Like, it's... Dude, that... Look. As much as I despise the church, specifically the church that wanted to rule over everyone and deny them their God-given liberties, uh, instead of, you know, as much as I despise that, I just miss that we had language and culture and, and we weren't pimping out children. You know, I, I miss those things about society. I know that you're pious. Oh no. You might be able to get a few useful things. Will you tell me something about yourself? There's not much to tell. I lived in Flashing and after my father died, I found out I wasn't much of a merchant. So I left the job for my brother and decided to become a monk. It's good school, yeah. There's food and lots of time to read. So you chose this as your Oh, fair. It may seem strange, but I'm one of the few novels who fit in. I might be the only one. The truth is, the idea of spending my So you'd rather be cooped up in a place of ultimate self-sacrifice, doing nothing but reading and writing, and eating goy slot porridge. <laughs> but, uh, well, actually, it probably wasn't that bad. But, uh, e eating porridge. I don't think they ate meat. Because I know the Knights Templar only ate meat three days out of the week. Uh the rest of the time they mostly ate grains and veg and stuff like that so I forget what the Knights Hospitaliers diet was it was probably nothing but fucking pork loin to be honest like, 
you know, leave it to the to the medical sect of holy knights to be all about pork, you know. I know that you're pious. Oh god. Do I dare? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Who's in charge of Saint Gracia? Should be everyone except us. The bishop is out of season. And soon enough, someone else. As if it matters. Our life will still be worth the pay. You think? I just realized they give Henry a porn stash. <laughs> I just re I just now dawned on me. <laughs> totally not because he's a Catholic priest now. Totally not. But it just dawned on me. Are there any rifts between the brothers? Yes. From the moment talk began about electing a new abbot, it seemed like a vortex came to me. Strange you haven't noticed. Tell me something about electing the abbot. Abbot usually is old. When he dies, Oh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> you don't get to vote. Like, fuck you. What do you think this is? A republic? Like, yeah. Uh, remember, three out of four people love democracy because it takes three people to vote on beating the piss out of the fourth guy. Absolute democracy. Like, how fun is that? Alright, so I gotta go fucking. Okay, on one hand, I applaud anyone who can survive in such a cloistered environment like this. And by cloistered, I mean sectioned off. I don't mean holy. Um, you know, I, on one hand, I can respect people who can live on very little. Because it takes a strong constitution, and I do respect that. But at the same fucking time, we have inalienable rights! <laughs> Yo, Doc. Greetings, brother. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. Greetings to you, brother. I'm Yoda, the oldest of the novices. I hope you'll like seeing the monastery and you won't get into trouble. Trouble? You're young, perhaps intemperate. You might easily stray from the rules of the order. I suggest you get to know the old monk. You never know when it might come in handy. I'm interested in that he came to the monastery voluntarily because he didn't want to work in his father's shop. That's all this is all right. You can rely on him. He won't betray us onto him. He's always happy to help, which is more than can be said for the other brothers. Yodik is the one Antonius said was a slain worm. But Yodik speaks praise of Antonius. Something I ought to tell you. There's a dangerous criminal hiding in the monastery, and I came here to look for him. Ha! I knew it! He's a villain! Or is he? <laughs> Who is he, though? Well, it's better not to ask you these things. It's always safer not to ask. Never mind. He's a villain. That's his skin. Now, it thought he was an odd one, the way he carries on. But now it makes perfect sense. He's a criminal bringing justice. What are you talking about? Clearly know something I don't. I'm telling you, keep your eye on him. He's no monk. 
That's what my good tells me. And my good's never wrong. What are you going to do to that fellow when you find him? I don't know yet. You can talk to the great Casey or the prior about me. No, I play him wrong. Oh, <laughs> and Tony thinks it's Yoduk. Yoduk thinks it's Siskin. And watch Siskin think it's fucking the other dude. Holy fuck! <laughs> oh, can you tell me something about yourself? I would if there is anything noteworthy to say. I'm just the ordinary son of a landowner, now a monk. There's nothing in my past, present, or future that anyone could find interesting. Why did you join the monastery? Because it was better than living in poverty. As a younger son, I'm not entitled to inherit my father's estate. But he was kind enough to sell off some cattle and train me here. Oh, well. You know what? I'm glad to be here. Especially looking out for you. Fair. It's better to live pious than to be a knacker. It's fair. Uh huh. Serve God and that's the essential truth of our lives. Well, that's all. Thank you for your time, brother. Fuck. Oh. I could accuse any one of them, but I'm afraid to because I feel like if I do, like. Something bad's gonna happen. Like, I'm really, like... Ugh. I'm really worried about that. Like, Become a drunk monk. Uh, that'd be pretty basic. Something I should tell you. It's a secret. I'm looking for someone here at the monastery. Looking for someone? But you're a novice, aren't you? I am a novice. At least until I find the man I'm looking for. Why would you be looking amongst monks? You know, the laws of man aren't challenged here. In the cloister, we're subject to the bylaw, the law of the church. I'm looking for a book pack who's hiding out here in the monastery. We had a hand in raising. So he's the only one that's not pointing blame. I found this piece of parchment. It looks like it's been ripped out of a book. I wouldn't tear off a book like that. It's like a librarian. He's the only one not pointing fingers so far. I don't know if that's 
Slate of Innocence or Guilt? <laughs> Marcus Antonius. Do I? I lost all of my savior schnapps. Oh, I can't save. Okay, so I have to see that one person. Uh, so I can, what's it called? Uh, see that one person so I can get some loot. So I can then, see what I gotta do. Oh, hello. Oh, just in case. God, this is the most stressful part I've played in this game so far. I swear to tits. Like, this, this is so incredibly stressful, dude. God, social stealth, the fucking devious mastermind. I don't have a milkstick. The shitter. Okay. How are you? Mirror. All right. What are you doing in the larder? Bitch, you can't hear me. I'm fucking silent. <laughs> Around this place before, don't you know? So where the hell is the other brother? Yes, I've had enough of this. Oh, there's Siskin. Okay, there you are. My name's Gretchen. You know me. You can call me Siskin. Are you here in your own free will, or is this a punishment? Although it's not important. Welcome to purgatory. And you say purgatory? You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. Oh, God. There's something I should tell you. Something you won't be happy to hear. I'm here to find someone that you know. Well, you and Ray know. But this place is not known. Not when it's a man like me. He's one of the brigands who burned down Roy Hoss. He doesn't deserve to live. Is he really me? Then who are you? Call him Pius because he used to be a priest. When he found out a lot of people were after him, he hid away here. Where did he do it? He escaped suspicion. They sent me here to find him and bring him to justice. He's one of the novices. But we have one outlaw and one assassin in our midst. This place is a lot more exciting than I expected. Do you know who he is? Well, that's just it. Antonius pointed to Yoduk. Yoduk pointed to this guy, and Lucas didn't say shit. Uh, fuck. Oh, I can't. Dude, look, I I never ever do this, but I have to because. I'm actually going to look this up. I'm actually going to look this up.
Okay. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, jeez. Uh. Humble just from life. Oh, a Benedictine monk. Uh, uh, find Pius the monastery. Your spoiler. I don't give a shit. He's all in a haystack. I had a feeling it was. So it seems to be, from what I just read, it seems to be Antonius. And that's... I had a feeling, because he... just as, as, Okay, as far as story writing goes, it would make the most sense. It could be Antonius. Antonius. He's a fine fellow. No, no, it's awfully fine. Well, brother, you never know what's hiding beneath a man's skin. See how hard it is. It could be anyone. certainly says little about him, but it's himself to himself. I do well believe he's hiding something, but not what you think. I won't tell you more, and I'd like you to keep silent about this too. You're talking about killing in the monastery. I really should report it. problems enough of my own without involving myself in yours. And that's fine. I need to be gone from here within a year, so why should I care what happens with the monastery? Thank you, Peter. I appreciate it. So, the walkthrough I just read is a totally different thing than what I already did, so... I don't think I can continue that on the walkthrough. Again, that that's good. It means they actually spent time on this and worked on it and actually tried to make it a good fucking game. With parallels and branches and all this other stuff. You know, they actually attempted to make something with detail and love and attention and holy shit, man. The only and uh, the the two games that are known for this both came out in 2018. This game and uh, um, Red Dead 2. But Red Dead 2 has shit in it that doesn't it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's there or not. Like they they put attention to detail with horse testicles. Who the fuck other than furries cares about horse testicles? Like who the fuck cares? I feel like they they did things with the horse balls just to distract people from the leftist politics they put in the fucking game. And it fucking worked. It fucking worked. Because people just pretended that that game was apolitical for four years. And then all of a sudden people were like, you know, hold on a sec. This this thing's a little leftist here, you know? If I could, like, what, what the fuck? Like, no one paid attention for all that time. Well, I got to know them, so I'm just gonna... So, okay, I know it's Antonius. I, I thought it was. My gut was telling me it was, but I just wanted to be sure, because it... Fuck. Maybe this is a spoiler? Maybe I should have said something? I don't know. Neglecting your daily schedule. Oh shit. Oh shit. I went through the wrong door. You actually have to learn the layout of this place.
rise at dawn. God, I'm getting hungry. Hungry. Yeah, I should have stolen some bread. <laughs> and then get beaten by the abbot and then pretend it's a woman with a giant dong and then just... <laughs> no, we don't do degeneracy here. I'm making fun of you, degenerate. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's... It's totally not a thing on the internet. Totally not. But yeah. Um, what is the internet anyway? Like ever since normies invaded, it's been nothing but knob ends. Just like literally. Penis! Penis everywhere! Alright, tight, 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 tight. Oh, I'm gonna miss the turning. Fuck. You cock in. Maybe I should read my fucking schedule. Hold on. I'm gonna... Brother novices, the following schedule describes the different activities you shall attend to. 3 a.m. start of the day. Oh, God. 4 a.m. morning prayer, 6 a.m. common meal. Okay, so I gotta go to the common room. This is a cra this is basically a stealth mission. It's fucking nuts. This is a crazy ass stealth mission. Why do I always want to go in that door? Three AM wake up. Oh fuck, I overslept. I'm trying to get to the fucking eating room. Okay, then I'll fucking. It's 6 a.m., ain't it? Oh, not quite. It's actually 5. Hold on. Uh, what's it, 5? Uh, morning prayer. Okay. Morning prayer for two hours. Holy shit. Where's the prayer room? God, this is hectic. Holy shit. Like, my... Oh. I pray for two hours? Holy shit. Supake Domine Domino I actually have a decent set of pipes if I actually try. The problem is I don't attempt anything in my life with any degree of seriousness, so Okay. somewhere you shouldn't have been. Don't you know your place? Don't you know where you're permitted to enter and where your presence is forbidden? Very well, brother. I accept my punishment. Now, show me what you have on you. I must confiscate anything that's not allowed in the monastery. I don't have anything on me. Well, shit. Motherfuck! Henry's <laughs> uh, <laughs> gonna fucking starve to death! What the fuck? Uh, you fucking. 
fucking bell ends. Oh! <laughs> Holy tits, man. Oh! Oh! Fucking nipples! <laughs> No, do not fuck the nipple. That's not how it works. Oh, uh, did I get fed? While I was locked up, someone was making quite a racket in the cellar. Lying drunk, I'm sure of it. What do I see down there? Oh, that's a branching path. Holy shit! Nourishment 120, dude. Ah, I wasn't there for the turning. Damn it! Go to bed. Oh god. Nasty habits. Oh god. Yeah, because they get up at 3. God, get up at 3 in the morning and pray for like 3 hours. Holy fuck. <laughs> Ugh. My arthritis and ADHD would not allow this. Like, my... <laughs> Holy fuck, guys. <laughs> what is being a monk anyways? What the fuck? Ugh. Holy nipples. <laughs> I pray to the state for which it stands, one nation, globally speaking, which conquers all and delivers us upon the righteous fury of thy God who art in heaven. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey cat, how you doing? <laughs> he's getting up, he's like, fuck you dad, I'm walking. <laughs> oh, chomp butt. Shake. No, I'm just kidding, he's making a little boy. See, I can't be all evil, I have a cat. Actually, I have three. Uh, this this one the wife's had since she was like a teen teenager kid like a, like a teenager uh, or preteen about there twelve or thirteen but he's about thirteen going on fourteen and he's he's been getting more active lately he's been moving around more he's been hopping on things he's actually been active and it's a good sign because if you have a pet who like stops being active and they were active their whole life. They are close to death, <laughs> usually speaking. Or they're just really old. Um, and a lot of times these things are the same thing. And Sammy's getting more active and more hyper and more ecstatic about life and the woes of the world. Oh, fuck. Domine. <laughs> the only word I ever learned in fucking Latin. Well, that one mission in fucking Assassin's Creed, was it two or Brotherhood? Uh, I forget which one, but... You know, the church wasn't the bad guy enough in those two games. <laughs> like, they kind of alluded to the bad guy becoming a part of the church and all this other stuff, but they never mentioned that the church was the one enforcing his will. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. But, hell, fucking 
Dante's Inferno got canceled by fucking Christian school mom groups, uh, be, you know, because it was biblical. When in reality, it wasn't. The Divine Comedy was a fan fiction of fan fiction. <laughs> like, because according to most Christians I've spoken to, Catholicism is fan fiction of Jesus. Because they worship the Mother Mary over Jesus. And Jesus himself said, my mother's not important. The important thing is I am God, right? Essentially. I'm paraphrasing, but... You know, so... According to Jesus himself, Mary isn't that fucking important. <laughs> right? But... You know, like Catholics fucking got into that like a motherfucker. And... Oh, my dog's outside. Fuck. <laughs> Mutt, no! Like, I can hear Mutt in the distance. Like, okay. Like, Henry, where are you? <laughs> Fuck it. Poor, poor doggo. Poor. God damn, you people move slower than my dead grandfather. anywhere else or no sit actually wait do I have to sit where there's food Actually, you know what? That actually doesn't look like porridge. It looks like beef and beans. I'm not supposed to talk to anybody during fucking chow down time. So, where do I get my food? I'm supposed to eat, but how do I do it? Oh, I've got like full nourishment, so it doesn't really matter. Actually, let me let me recheck that. Run through. Okay. Uh. to kill Pius. Fuck, I never did that. Okay. Okay, hold on. So I might as well read. Common meal, 8 a.m., work in the frattery. Assigned by Brother Neplis. 12 noon, work in the livery. Assigned by Brother Librarian. 4 p.m., afternoon worship. 6 p.m., vespers, common supper. 7 p.m., complying, free time before retiring. 9 p.m., rest and nighttime curfew. Jesus Christ be praised, Father Demetrius Pryor. I fucked this up royally. <laughs> uh, okay. Work in the library. Work in the frattery. I don't know what that is. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can just wait until 7 p.m. and then talk to Antonius. Oh, this is gonna get me a lot of trouble. Well, it's 1900, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Let's hope no one notices. <laughs> Let's just hope. Because I need to talk to Antonius. I should have read this before I did this shit, but I didn't think I'd need to, because... Look, I did the Executioner Herman quest line without any guides. 
Okay. And that one requires reading and a thing called memory, which I don't have due to extended opiate use. So, I did that. And even this, I was like, I don't know who to assume. Like, fucking... <sighs> fucking tits. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I swear enough to, like, repel nuns. I swear. Like, I, I really do. Oops. Go to bed. Oh no. Yeah, I skipped all that shit. Okay. Antonius. Where is Antonius? No, it's Yoda. Where is Antonius? Antonius. Herodissimo. You know, I've been told that I've got a good voice, so I should, like, do, like, church mass and shit. I'm like, I'm way too pagan for that shit, dude. I'm sorry. Like, we're gonna... I'm, like, if it was up to me, we'd be raiding monasteries, not, you know. <laughs> Oops. But, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's not my fault they have all the fucking luxury there, and we're paupers out on the road. Like, what the fuck is Antonius? Antonius, you bellend, where are you? Siskin. Yeah, that may or may not be my fault. <sighs> Oops. I never told him I intended to kill Pius. That's, uh, I, I thought I was going in stealth. If I could... Uh, there you are. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Brother. Ah, oh, fuck. Brother Shaw mentioned that you didn't submit your parchment to his praetorium. Do you not enjoy copying? Oh. This seems a cruelty. Brother. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't believe it. Oh. Your first warning. Don't do it again. Yes. Brother Nevin says that you didn't finish your work in the herb room. Have you lost your taste for honest labor? Oh, my God. I had other affairs that needed to be attended to immediately. I have 15, you have 14. Why am I failing? I'm sorry, but I don't believe it. Ugh. God damn it! <laughs> what the? F <sighs> fuck! Yeah, fuck you. Oh god. Ah. Fuck. Oh my fucking nipples. Oh my god. Nipples. <laughs> oh my god. Luckily it saved right when the quest started. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Look at a critical failure. Thank god.
Uh, well then <laughs> uh, holy jumping nipple shitballs Batman I gotta tell this guy I want to kill the motherfucker and then we go on a lark together it'll be lots of fun I fucked that up so royally like dude <laughs> Uh, uh. This is the way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. You know the first thing you want to be taught to appreciate sleep. You rise before dawn every day, take a bit of getting used to. They get like three hours of sleep a day, and they have to do hard labor all day. This is the garden. Beware. Here are the front rooms, scriptorium, together with the library. These are the places where we work. Aura et labora. Pray and work. As a novice, you must always listen to your superior brethren. And above our front is the prior and the Satan. You punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. You don't say. I think I met them in the last playthrough. I don't know. Might have bumped into one or two, maybe. Maybe. The library. The pride of our monastery. The trove of learning. We don't just read books here. We also copy them. You, too, will learn how. And that's all. Today you are still free from duty. But tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, Ask any of the brothers. We'll be glad to help you. I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, your doctor, and you, Ben. Thanks for turning me around. There's a lot to learn here. I need to make a confession. I'm no priest. I'm here in the monastery looking for a priest. He had a hand in burning down the Neuhof stone. You don't say. And who are you to take such an interest? The one who tried to find him and kill him. You want to kill him here, in the monastery? Are you mad? You can't just show up and play the angel of vengeance on sacred ground. If you think you're entitled to mess up justice, who gave you the right? I'm sorry, but I don't want to have anything more to do with you. You're a lunatic, and the prior ought to be warned about you. Threaten him to make him shut up. Oh, what the hell? You so much as open your mouth about him. Tell you what, you think you can threaten me? You'd better watch yourself, Gregor. You don't know me at all. That's not at all how I thought that was going to turn out.
what he designed about the pickle. Uh, I know you're a pirate. The man I came to fish for. So you're finally sure. Tell me, Gregor, Carp, or whatever your true name is. What do you want to do now? I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do. his ways and finds God. What exactly are you proposing? Both of us can leave this place. You can go back to your people, and I can go somewhere where I can live out my life in peace, and no one will try and kill me. We work together. We can both get what we want. Okay, shit. You're just gonna forget that I said I was gonna kill the guy? <laughs> You've done wrong and I'm going to kill you for it. Oh god. Kill Antonius, oh shit. <laughs> You're right. But the people who sent me will find out if I don't kill you. They won't if we're clever about it. No one has to die. Before we make a run for it, we'll make it look like someone's killed me. Loads of blood, a tattered scrap of my habit, and footprints leading towards the river. No one will bother looking for my body there. Then we'll split up. You go for your bounty, and I'll get as far away from here as I can. Yeah, I can do that. Good. Let's do it your way. Good. I'm glad that despite our initial discord, we could reach an agreement. Here, take something to calm your stomach. Now we'll need the keys to the monastery, and some blood to make the track. Thanks. Don't have much time. Much time, please. He fucking turned around. Like some 
librarian, monk, new brother in epidermis. Zergut, Herr Doktor. Kann ich gehabt eine Idee? Ich habe keine in mein Hand. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I know enough to say some here and there and understand some, but I'm by no means fluent. I've got a German friend who can talk me in a corner in that language, so I'm, I'm by no means. I'm Gregor. Is there anyone in the monastery who can help me get hold of something? Well, something that's not very readily available? I can't help you there. Thomas Solari is mine. Thomas Solari. Yeah, but where the fuck is he? Stellarius. Brother Stellarius. Kill all the aliens. Get off my property. Hippity hoppity. Get off my star factory. down here. I don't know where that list is supposed to be. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't normally do this. Uh, okay. What about your day until meal time? Meal time? Are you sure?
that solved. Where is Solarius? It'll be up here. There's a monk. Different quest, Henry. Picks. I heard the Sarger eggs just before they raised Starrett somehow. They hurt again, just worse than last time. I tell you, he is very unlucky. There, wait for him up here. There you are. Solarius is conked the fuck out. Uh, so in the dead of night. In the dead of night. Creature of the night. <laughs> That's a reference. Like how I actually wait a minute. Can I just pickpocket the guy? I didn't even think of that, but yeah, I totally could. Or the game wants me to actually talk to him, but I couldn't fucking find him. Okay, those are books. Ugh. Ugh. He didn't have it on him. Fuck. He just knows where to get them. None of these fuckers are gonna have lockpicks on them. I just know it. Fuck. Okay. Like, what? What are those books? Okay. So the labors. I gotta wake up at three. So I am going to tiptoe. And uh, do some peeky peeking. There's a lot of times in this game where it's like, Hey, Henry, you want to be a thief? It'll be fun. Like, that happens quite a lot in this game, actually. Is that alright? Just wait till three and fucking... Actually, wait, can I... I have Master Thief, though. Master Thief. This is the cloister, okay. Oh, hey, dog, how you doing? Fuck. Oh, shit. Actually, what's my noise level? 
Level 23. Okay. Can I just take my shoes off? I feel like that would uh, permit me some solace. I don't know where to go. I'm groping in the dark. Okay. Oh, fuck. I got spicy this episode. I got spicier than normal. I talk about the forbidden things. It's, it's just what I do. Who I am as a person. When you go down the rabbit hole long enough, you become one of the bunnies. And I don't mean bunny as in the whole sexy tail thing where, you know, women do sexy stuff. Uh, there's no door here. Okay. This is pitch fucking black, by the way. Uh, that's a thing. I don't know if this is a good idea, but... They can fucking see. But they can see me. There's light and shadow stealth in this. Which is more than what can be said for most fucking Metal Gear games. But that's beside the point. I've, I I toured this place when I, when I robbed it blind. And, um... Fun times. I have yet to know... game really wants me to get keys or lockpicks, but I don't know where the keys are. Unless I just grab those. I don't know where the keys are. Okay, that's herbal bullshit. Okay. What's over here? So I will check this the fuck out. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the tomb of Saint Cornucopia. Oh, it's a larder of some sort. Oh, I remember being in there. Yeah. Hey. My wife. Actually, yeah. Well, sorry, dear. You have to come outside. Okay. Um, Intermittent period. Yeah. Uh, I talked a lot about the Catholic Church. <laughs> ah. More from a historical standpoint, but, you know, I, I did mention that modern day Catholics hate their commie cocksucking Pope. So. Uh, where am I? Why do you always hide my pants? I know you like me naked, but holy shit, woman. They're right there. Oh, yeah, they are. When did I hide them? You know, you didn't hide them very well, I gotta <laughs> tell ya. You hid them in plain sight. I'm just blind in one eye and can't see out of the other. So you say. <laughs> yeah. So I believe. Therefore, it's true. Is that how religion works? Uh, do you want me to end the video? Or Probably. Can. Okay, yeah. Alright, let me do that real quick. Yeah. Uh, wasn't right, it? Guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you were probably on it for like two hours. Uh, just pro uh, yeah, uh, probably, let me check. Probably three, maybe. Good for you. Two hours and 15 minutes. Oh, okay, I guess that was right the first time. Okay, so, in the next episode, I will tell you how I didn't get thrown in communist 
jail involving fucking Catholics and communist Catholic doctrines who are totally not the same. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So anyways, I will go. Goodbye. Get fucked. Have a good life. Take care. You want to say anything?